When traveling to Japan, you might experience a few culture shocks, with one of those being the number of people wearing masks. If a Japanese office worker is sick but they need to work those long hours, they wear a mask. Allergic to pollen or dust particles, they wear a mask. Didn't have time to put makeup on, they wear a mask. Japanese people are proud mask wearers, and for good reasons. And it is a cultural experience that you shouldn't hesitate to join on. The customs of surgical masks worn by the public in Japan first became the things around the Spanish flu in 1980. A survey by Soft Brain Field found that more than 50 percentage of people already have hay fever when they are about 20 years old, and about 70 percentage have visited a medical institution because of the pollen allergy. When facing allergic to pollen, about 60 percentage of people choose to wear a disposable mask, while about 42 percentage choose to see a doctor. During the H1N1 outbreak in 2009, the sales of masks increased explosively to 34 billion Japanese yen. A study shows that Japan produced or imported over 4.5 billion masks in 2009. After the pandemic, sales of masks in Japan fell at once, but still growing year by year. In 2018, 5.5 billion masks were produced, and 4.3 billion were for personal use. Total sales of disposable masks amounted to $310 million in 2018, and about $333 million in 2019. Despite the shortage of masks because of the coronavirus, nothing can stop the Japanese people from buying and wearing masks. To many in the Western culture, wearing a mask in several contexts it could be viewed as impolite. But in Japan, it is very, very rude and highly disrespectful if you are sneezing or have the sniffles without wearing a mask. Therefore, if you want to survive in Japan, it is totally okay to wear a mask. The coronavirus is the defining global health crisis of our time, and the greatest challenge we have faced. Please wear a mask. Stay safe and healthy.